So to start off this look, I'll be beginning with my hair, and for my hair, I'm going in with my second day hair and a little bit of dry shampoo. So I'll be using my Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. I find that my hair works better and it just does better for me when it is second day. So after that, I'll just be combing through it with a brush, then taking a little bit of my moisturizing pomade and then spritzing that all throughout my hair to help with frizziness and also to help with my dry split ends. Then taking my Bumble and Bubble Thickening Shampoo, dry shampoo sort of thing. I'm spraying that all throughout my hair just to kind of give it that oomph that it kind of lost since my hair is second day hair. Then for my hair, I'm just going to be doing something pretty simple and it's really what I like to do when I'm kind of out of ideas and I don't know what to do for special events. So I'll be taking my Remington one and a half inch curling wand and then taking a section of hair, sectioning it off and then taking another section of hair. You guys can sort of see me doing this um, and then curling that with my curling wand and all I'm doing is wrapping it around the barrel and then I'm letting it sit there for about five to ten seconds really depending on the type of curl I want. You can leave it in longer if you want like a tighter curl. After I let loose of the curl, while it is still hot, I'm twisting it with my fingers and then while it is twisted, I'm spraying it with a bit of my Kenra number 25 hairspray and this is just going to kind of give it that ringlet look that I was looking for without being too over the top and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another example of me doing this again just in case you didn't catch it the first time. So now the hair is done and all that I did is I pulled it over to one side and just bobby pinned the back. Pretty simple. I didn't really do much more to it except just put some bobby pins in the back to help it stay in place. Now it's time for the fun part which is the makeup. And first I'll be taking my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream just to moisturize my face before I start going in with my eyes and doing my eye makeup. Then after that I'll just be moisturizing my lips with a little bit of my Baby Lips Dr. Rescue. So to begin with my eyes, I'm just putting a little bit of scotch tape on the corner of my eyes just to create a bit more of a cat eye look for this look. And this is kind of the trick that you sort of see all over YouTube. Then I'm going in with primer. I'm using my NARS Smudge Proof Primer and then going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Base. I'll be putting that all over my lid using a crown brush concealer brush. And this is just going to help the eyeshadows appear more vibrant and stay on all throughout the night when you're dancing it up at prom. Now going in with my MAC eyeshadow in the shade Steamy and a flat shader brush from Sedona Lace. I'll be packing this all over my lid until I get the desired color that I sort of want. I also spritz my brush with a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water just so the color would show up a little bit more on my lid. And then for my crease color, I'm going in with another shade by MAC and this is their Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in the shade Evening Gray. And I'm just going to be going in with a fluffy tapered blending brush and just putting that in my crease and I'm kind of using the base that I put on before this soft ochre as a line to see where my crease is and as my transition shade. I'm also taking a more tapered brush and that same shade evening gray and putting that a little bit more in my crease just to give it some more definition and then going over with steamy again on my lid and taking a clean fluffy blending brush and blending that out. Now using my Lorac Pro Palette, I'll be taking the shade black and a small tapered crease brush and really focusing it on the outer corner. You don't want to go too much with this since black is a very dramatic color. I wanted to kind of keep it soft and sexy and then blend it out with a fluffy blending brush that is clean again. Just kind of keep it very soft and sultry, nothing too dramatic. So you just want to kind of go light-handed with this. Then I'm going back in with the same brush that had a little bit of leftover shadow from Evening Gray on it. And then taking an angled eyeliner brush, I'll be lining my upper lash line. And that's kind of really it for this look. I just kind of wanted to keep it soft yet match my dress. You guys can play around with this if you want to use these shadows or get shadows to match your dress. Then taking the tape off that I used, as you can see, it created much more of a clean line instead of it being all messy. I'll be going in next with my Make It Forever artist liner I believe it's called in the shade black is black and lining my tight line and waterline but keeping my waterline a bit less black and not going so heavy handed on it. Now for mascara I'll be using three mascaras. I'll be using the Benefit Roller Lash, the IT Cosmetics uh, what's it called? Hello Lashes? Yeah, it's the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. I just had a brain fart there, but I'll be putting that on my upper lashes, then going in with the Benefit Roller Lash, and then my Lancome Hypnose Drama Waterproof Mascara. And I didn't want to use falsies, so I tried to mimic the look of falsies since I already have pretty long lashes, and falsies would just kind of make it look a little bit fake on me. Then to also finish off the eyes, I'm taking this shade from my MAC Navy Times 9 palette. It's just the lightest shade and the first shade in the palette, and taking a brush and putting that in my inner corner. 
So now it is time, I cannot keep up with myself on this video, but now it is time to do my face. I just primed with a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water, now I'm going in with Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, and I will be putting that on my face to minimize my oil and also help my makeup stay on all night because I do have combination oily skin, so I kind of want to get a nice base for my foundation. So for foundation, I'll be using my holy grail foundation for special events, and that is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'll be bouncing that away with my beauty blender, and I decided to speed this up a bit because if I didn't, we'd be here bouncing for days, girl. But anyways, this is my holy grail foundation. I can't even go into more depth about it because it's just so amazing, and it lasts all night. It doesn't give off a white flash in pictures. It's perfect for taking pictures because it is a photo foundation, and it's meant for being in photos and things like that, but it's my holy grail. I love it. It looks flawless. The coverage is great and for me being someone with acne prone skin it's amazing I highly recommend it for prom and events like this because it's my holy grail now for concealer I'll be going in with a bit darker concealer than my natural skin tone well it like it is a concealer for my natural skin tone but it's not a highlighting concealer this matches me but what this is going to do it has a pink undertone to it so it's going to help camouflage my dark circles and it's also going to blend in with the foundation to give that flawless canvas that I was looking for and I'm also speeding this up a bit so we won't be here for hours so now this is where highlighting comes in and I'll be taking a lighter concealer for me and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral and I'll just be highlighting the high points of my face and also right underneath where I would do contour just so before I do my contour I can kind of see like where I'm going to put it which is what I'm doing right here and then blending that in with a small beauty blender I'll just be highlighting the bridge of my nose and under my eyes a little bit but not too much to where you're going to give off a white cast just enough to where it highlights you but not to where it's going to make you look like a ghost in pictures you know what I'm saying you get me Okay, um, but yeah, I'm just blending that in until it blends in pretty much. Blending is key here, my friends. Next, going with my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer. I'll be using this to spot conceal. This is just going to help conceal any post-acne marks that I had and just any acne on my forehead and help them fade away and not look so noticeable on camera and in real life. To set my makeup, I'll be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the Velour Puff, and I'll just be setting the areas where I get oily. I won't be setting my whole entire face, you know, with a heavy hand. I'll be setting it lightly because I do still want to stay dewy and a little bit luminous since I just don't want to be like super duper matte since I do have a little bit of dry skin as well as oily skin, which is combination skin. Um, then I'll be taking my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and a setting brush by Real Techniques and putting that under my eyes and setting it anywhere that I put concealer. Well, just setting my concealer with the brush anywhere that I put concealer. Concealer. Does that even make sense? I don't even know. Now going in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette, I'm going to lightly contour. I'm not doing a full on contour by any means. I'm taking a Real Techniques contour brush and then the two lightest shades from the top and bottom of the Kat Von D shade and light palette and lightly contouring and then blending that ish out. You want to make sure you blend it out so it blends in naturally. If you're going for a natural contour like I was, I highly recommend to blend, blend, blend. If you want a bit more of a harsh contour, maybe you could try a cream contour or a stick contour, but I'm just blending it out until I get the desired look that I want. For blush, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed and It Cosmetics Blush Brush and smiling and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Pretty simple, you've seen so many people do this before, but this is just going to add a little bit of color to my face. Now for highlighter, I'll be going with my Holy Grail highlighter, which is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop and a Real Techniques fan brush and go in ham with the highlighter because in my opinion, you can never have too much highlighter unless you start looking like a greasy mess. But I'm just highlighting the high points of my face and just where you put highlighter, y'all know the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the forehead, just the main stuff. It all works. This is my favorite highlighter and it reflects light beautifully. It's perfect for taking prom, for taking prom, it's perfect for taking pictures at prom, and it's just all around perfect. It doesn't make you look like a grease mess, and it just gives you the perfect amount of highlight, and then I'm just going in and blending that in with the blush brush that I use, so everything will kind of blend in softly. Now for brows, I'm not going to go through and explain this because my brows just weren't really working with me today, I'm going to be honest, but I just use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown like I always do, and I just comb through starting at the tail of my brow and then going through um, at the beginning of my brow. And 
and making it a little bit lighter. Now for my lips, I'll be going in with my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Sore and lining my lips. And then for my lip color, I'll be going in with my NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Dulce Vita and putting that on my lips just to blend everything in together because it's so beautiful and I find that a look like this really complements the eye and it's kind of like a neutral lip that can pretty much go with any eye look. And that is it for this completed makeup look, my loves. I really hope that you like this look. I'm absolutely in love with it, and as you'll see in the next clip, it complements my dress so well, and it goes perfectly with my dress. So now, it's time for the big reveal, my dress that I'm wearing. So th my dress is from Tarani Couture, and I got it off of promgirl.com. Promgirl.com was actually kind enough to send me this dress to use for this video, and I absolutely love it. Just the cut, and it's so flattering. The cut's gorgeous, by the way, and then it has a corset back, and the jewels on it, and just the way it flows, and the slit knee leg. Oh, it's just amazing. Then my shoes are from Macy's and they're by the brand Nina. And I just love this dress. It's perfect. I, it complements my body shape so well and it's amazing. If you guys are looking for a corset back prom dress, I highly recommend this one. I'll leave a link to everything that I mentioned in this video in the down bar below as well as a link to prom girl. An exact link will also be in the description bar below for the dress that I wore as well as the shoes and everything that I use from makeup to hair care will be listed in the description box as well as all of my links if you guys would like to keep up with me. And that's that. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Also, don't go yet. Stay tuned. Here's some bloopers. Do you want me to do it? Itty Are bitty you? titty committee. Huh? I said the itty bitty titty committee. I'm doing a, a shot like that, kind of. Like th th then I look really naked. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs>